And so you've been warned, if you're sensitive, this is not possibly the time that you want to be in here, but this is our one non-G-rated song of the night, and uh, we're going to have some fun with it. This is one of my favorite funny artists out there. Nominated in the novelty and political categories. Please give it up for him. Are you ready to go? Uh, I think, uh, are we ready, Liz? Yeah. You ready? No, no, go away. You want to be together now? Decide we want to be together. Fickle. Right. <laughs> do your thing. We want to be together. Well, oh, it changes everything. <laughs> All right, Eric Swartz. Ow! Hey, congratulations to everybody out there who's already won or is about to win or almost won or whatever. Fantastic to here. Listen, if I don't shake your, the hands of the winners later, it's because, well, there's a bathroom attendant, and we're all starving artists, which means we don't have the money to tip the bathroom attendant, which means because we're scrupulous characters, we're not going to avail ourselves of a service which we, we, we don't pay for, so I'm not touching anybody. All right. You want a wedge? Speaking of wedge. <laughs> yeah, so I was going to sing country songs or national, like, there's a picture of somebody's dick on your phone. Like, that's what I was going to say, right? But, but, but then it turns out that, like, four blocks away, the man whose name is in the song that, is, that, I, that, that, that I'm under consideration for an award tonight for, he just gave a speech over for the Democratic National thing, so I had to do it. It's, you know, oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. This is Sing Along, by the way. George Bush lied about weapons of mass destruction. Clinton got a blowjob. So there was deception in addition to the suction, but Clinton got a blowjob. Now what's worse, starting a war or keeping your cohibas in a human humidor? And who got impeached? And what for? Oh, right. Clinton got a blood job. Everybody sing along with us. George Bush vacation while New Orleans drowned. Clinton got a blow job. He sat in the classroom with the towers falling down. And uh, Clinton got a blow job. Well, he fucked up FEMA, which fucked up Katrina. Not to mention the conventions of Geneva with 24 civilians murdered in Haditha and Clinton got a blowjob. Hey, this is a sing-along. I don't care if we're in Nashville. It's fun to say blowjob. <laughs> well, how could a man without a brain cause the nation so much pain? Cause the world to feel such hate for these so-called United States and how could the Congress help but act in the face of every fact I have presented here? Comparisons couldn't be more clear. George Bush authorized leaks of classified information. Clinton got a blowjob. To make the case for attacking a sub. Come on! George was authorized leaks of classified information. To make the that doesn't that feel better? <laughs> to make the case for attacking a sovereign nation and well, they couldn't shoot him, so they had to shame him. But if you know a politician that doesn't screw around, name him. And you know Hillary. Can you blame him? <laughs> See, that was for the Republicans. George Bush funded sex ed that taught our children that condoms didn't work. Clinton got a blowjob. And guess what, George? If they didn't, both your daughters would be pregnant, you jerk. Clinton got a blowjob. So Bush lied about his bust for driving drunk. Clinton's biggest crime was having spunk. For choosing a statue less than statuesque and setting her on display under the Oval Office desk. <laughs> All right, George, what else do you like the American people about? Uh, stem cell research, uh, absolutes, global warming, social security, missile defense, Katrina preparations, going AWOL from the National Guard. Hey, add your own, everybody. Guess what? Not that hard. Jack Abramoff, Valerie Plame, Al Qaeda's links to Saddam Hussein, Abu Ghraib, Kenny Lay, a record deficit today. You wiretapping, info leaking, waterboarding, power hoarding, rights destroying, Christ deploying, load of scat in a stencil. I'll do my part. I'll play the part. If that's 
just what it takes to get you gone.